What's going on, wrestling fans? This is your wrestling purist, Jeff the Hitman Hall here. And we're going to talk a little wrestling. Matter of fact, we're going to talk a little NXT TakeOver 36. Uh, Pay-per-view time. All right. So we had a lot of storylines and a lot of um, scores to settle leading to this uh, pay-per-view. So your first kind of pre-match or not pre-match, excuse me pre-show type deal was Trey Baxter versus Ridge Holland. Uh, no disrespect to Trey Baxter, but Ridge Holland has been on a roll here and he steamrolled Mr. Baxter. Um, and to, after he, you know, ran over, steamrolled him, he called out Timothy Thatcher and that's kind of, you know, continuing their feud with him and Tommaso also, um, you know, from last week and the week before. So, you know, good storytelling there. Now, at the start of your NXT TakeOver 36, you have L.A. Knight, and he will be taking on Cameron Grimes. So the stipulation for this match was is if L.A. Knight wins, then the million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase, will become his personal butler. Well, that didn't happen. So not a bad match at all. You know, back and forth here. But toward the end here, we had L.A. Knight getting put in the Million Dollar Dream and Ted DiBiase giving him a right hand on the outside. And when it's all said and done, Cameron Grimes is your winner and he is freed. He is Million Dollar Champion. And, and that was that. And he's also going to the moon, like he says. So it was a fun match. Not bad at all. Next on the card, you got Dakota Kai versus Raquel Gonzalez. And this is a blow off match. Um, this is off the heels of Kai turning heel and turning her back on her, her supposable friend. I'm going to be honest. This match was really not, not botchy, but botchy and not lazy. It, it just wasn't a good match. I don't know if it was the styles or just two people didn't mix. Um, it just wasn't a good match at all i mean I, I wish i could jazz it up for you you know not either opponent's best work but at the end of the day you had dakota kai kind of trying to finish gonzalez with a little running knee i mean sorry like hell of a kick running boot to the corner gonzalez kind of counters it catches her and then puts her in an old power bomb and one two three uh that's it and that that's that's your finish Oh, and Kaylee Ray looks like she may be your next challenger somewhat to this to this women's NXT title. Next on the card, you have kind of what everybody's been waiting for to some extent, Ilya Dragunov and Volter. And the winner of this match is your NXT European champion. I'm sorry, UK champion. And this match was good. Good. Not as good as their first match, but a lot of these things, you know, when you start to get to two and three, um, you know, go rounds on matches, that, you know, just because one has a high standard doesn't necessarily mean that they all are. This was a good match. I personally didn't, didn't like the ending. So you have Dragunov going over Walter. Uh, and he kind of just put him to sleep, put him in his little headlock. And as soon as Walter got in it, he just tapped fat, quick, fast. And to be fair, he was working it all night. But, you know, then Walter was down. And he kind of put his put his foot on his chest and put the belt up. And, you know, it was a new sheriff in town. And, uh, again, it, it wasn't bad. I, it, it's just hard. It's just hard to watch Walter tap. I mean, I think he kind of should have just went to sleep and that should have been that. But, hey, I'm not running the company. Good match. Next up, Cole versus O'Reilly in your three falls. So this is also a blow off. This is, you know, personal, personal stuff always sells. This was a good match. Interesting match. So you had O'Reilly getting a quick roll up. I mean, quick. It, it felt like two minutes, three minutes into the match. 
So they're battling back and forth and Cole gets a fall. So now you have your third fall, that's your cage match. Cage match. Well, so cage match comes down and it took they took a long time to get this cage down and together. And I don't really know what was going on with that, but it comes down and these two are beating the snot out of each other. Cole handcuffs O'Reilly um, to the turnbuckle. O'Reilly gets him in like, you know, a headlock, you know, you know, armbar type deal and Cole submits. So Kyle O'Reilly goes through and Adam Cole, uh, you know, hurt knee, they're work, he's working on the knee, you know, he's selling the knee. And he they, he goes out limping, and fans are are thank you, thank you, Cole, thank you, Cole, thank you, Cole. Um, yeah. So speculation on where he's going. I think you guys already know, guys and gals already know, but I guess time is t- time will tell, and we will see. Then they cut to like a little like small promo with Dragonov, and he just you know has his belt, and he's telling everybody that the ring general has fallen. You also get Legado del Fantasmo calling out Hit Row for this upcoming Tuesday for NXT. And they're going to be in the main event. You're going to you're going to have a six man tag um, on that end. Now, last but not least, you have your main event, Karrion Cross versus Samoa Joe. This match was interesting in the sense of Joe's been off for a while. I mean, almost two years at this point between being injured, coming back and being a commentator, being on Raw, then being pseudo fired slash turned to GM. So with all that being said, this match was not bad. Well, it could have been better. So Joe was blown up or AKA out of shape and he kind of was struggling, you know, all match long. And toward the end there, he kind of got a second win. And he goes over on Cross with with a muscle buster. And with that, you know, you're assuming Cross is going to be, well, Cross did, you know, he's going to go up to Raw. But, again, not a terrible match, but, you know, you didn't have to be a rocket scientist to see that Joe wasn't in the best shape and kind of was blown up, like I said, the, 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 the whole match. So, in all in all, I actually kind of thought it was an underwhelming NXT card. That's just me. Um, But I mean, I I am a wrestling purist and you guys know how I am. So I may just be being myself, but you know, again, not a terrible card. So we'll see um, come this, this Tuesday on, you know, who does what and what goes where and how they're going to, uh, I guess, you know, finish the rest of this, you know, these feuds and these things out. And uh, that's kind of it, you know. That's your your NXT Takeover 36, all in a nutshell, short and sweet. Um, again, Jeff Hitman Hall, wrestling purist. Um, and don't forget here, if you're not going to put yourself over, nobody else will. Thank you, ladies and gents, for uh, tuning in. I appreciate it.